Hi everyone, my name is Shandana Dasari. Today I am going to explain about our project which is about a network security tool named Nmap and by, the, by using this tool we are going to find the vulnerabilities within a network and here are our group members Satish Reddy Velpula, Chandana Dasari, myself and Pune Sriyalli Kuravi. So coming to the introduction, Network Mapper is also known as Nmap. It is a free and open source tool for vulnerability scanning and network discovery. It can be installed in any systems like Windows, Linux and Mac. By using Nmap network, network administrator identifies the device that which are running on the system and discovers the available host and services they offer. It also finds the open ports and detects security risks. This is used to track the single host as well as networks that which includes hundreds of thousands of devices and multitudes of subnets. In spite of the fact that Nmap has advanced throughout the long term and is incredibly adaptable on a basic level, it supports scan tool gathering data by sending packets to system ports. It listens for responses and decides whether ports are open, closed or filtered in some way, example firewall. Different terms used for port scanning include port discovery or enumeration. Coming to the network vulnerability, it is called as a flaw in a software hardware or net organizational process which may result in security breach when compromised by a product. Non-physical network vulnerabilities include software or data. Physical network vulnerabilities include physical protection of an asset like locking a server in a rack closet or securing entry point with a wind. Any device on a network could be a security risk if it's not properly managed. Routers and security appliances are the front lines of defense but they require proper use of work. One of the surest ways to break into a network is to gain unsupervised physical access to its devices. It doesn't take long to install malware on it. The intruder can download code from a pre-arranged location or copy it of a USB device. The network firewall is its first line of defense. It can be a separate box, part of a router or a virtual device. So. These are some of the examples of how a network vulnerability can occur. So, the unpatched or the operating systems and applications lack or patch management in a security network can lead to network vulnerability. And poor configured and outdated firewall rules, weak or default passwords, inside privilege issues of USB drives, print screens and optical disk media can also result in a network vulnerability in a network. Vulnerability scan using NSC scripts. Common vulnerabilities and the exposures also called as CVE, which means no, which means a path to organize and classify vulnerabilities of software. This data can be useful for security researchers and penetration testers in everyday tasks. By using the Nmap scripts, it can expand its core features. By merging Nmap commands with some NSC scripts, one can get popular CVEs from targets. Popular CVE detection scripts found on Nmap. Uh, NSC or Nmap Vulners and Vulscan, which allows us to detect CVE information from remote or local hosts. The entire Vuln category is an absolute useful resource when using Nmap as a vulnerability scan engine. Nmap Vulscan. Vulscan inquires its own CVE databases that which are hosted on client performing the scan. The local databases involves the files like skip vuldb.csv cve.csv, securityfocus.csv, exports.csv, exploit, exploitdb.csv, openmass.csv, securitytracker.csv, uh, osvdb.csv. Nmap Vulner. It is one of popular vulnerability scanner which is in use. It works only when version of software is identified for an open port. Gather all known CPUs for software and make sure a request to remove server in order to learn if any known vulners exist for CPU. If no data is found in this way, try to get it using the software name alone and print the uptime information. So I am going to explain the overview and the problem. So uh, in these the penetration testing is going after networks will often work in couple of phases to identify the weakest link. So in this case we are going to explore scripts. So now the scripts will have value to use various outputs from Nmap 
to determine things like whether or not there is a vulnerability in this service discovered. So now we can find this in CVE report that was logged when the vulnerability is discovered and looked. So see whether someone has weaponized the tool that allows us to take advantage of this exploit. So first when we look it in the NVAP vulnerability and uh, it will scan for a like full scan. Now it produces a list of vulnerabilities in the network. So this scan helps in identifying the vulnerabilities so that uh, one can take the counter pressures to protect the system from getting attacked in any way possibility by attackers. So next slide that primary security focus area in this the major security focus area in vulnerability analyzer. So using Nmap we are going to scan scan the vulnerabilities that we are going on network without our knowledge. So during the scanning it gives a number to every vulnerability which says to the severity of vulnerability in the network. So Nmap is re relevant and useful for this course and it gives hands-on experience on how vulnerabilities can detect and how attackers use these vulnerabilities to attack the system. So in the next slide, so these are the, these are the one we are going to submit all the, the installation and packages, the related packages and the code and the CVE report and the code execution and uh, some of the screenshots that we uh, that we do while we are doing the this project and the final documentation and report. So here are some of the references so that uh, we took and uh, this, this is it guys thank you